Visitors to Georgia must obtain a visa from Georgian diplomatic missions unless they come from one of the visa-exempt countries, or one of the countries whose citizens can obtain an e-visa. Visitors must hold a passport or identity card if a Turkish or EU citizen valid for the period of intended stay, while Georgian citizens can enter with a valid or expired passport or identity card. Topic: <laughs> Visa policy map. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Visa policy. Georgia adopted a new law of on legal status of alien and stateless persons that went into effect on 1 September 2014. It was amended on 9 June 2015 when the maximum allowed stay was extended to one year. The list of countries whose citizens have the right of visa-free entry to Georgia is no longer provided in the new law, it is determined in the separate ordinance of the Government of Georgia. The visa-free list was re-approved on 9 June 2015. Countries that were removed in September 2014, which are Bolivia, Cuba, Dominica, Guatemala, Iraq, Paraguay, Peru, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, Suriname and Trinidad and Tobago, were not reinstated on the list. Nationals of the following countries and territories may visit Georgia without a visa for a year unless otherwise noted. 1. May enter using ID card. Point 2. Applies to holders of passports issued by Bermuda, British Virgin Islands, Cayman Islands, Falkland Islands, Gibraltar and Turks and Caicos Islands. Visa exemption also applies to Georgian diaspora members who are citizens of countries that otherwise require a visa, for stays not exceeding 30 days. United Nations laissez passer holders for one year. Persons with refugee status in Georgia. Holders of diplomatic or official, service passports of China, Egypt, Guyana, Indonesia, Iran and Peru. Holders of valid visas or residence permits of EU, EFTA, GCC countries, overseas territories of EU countries except Anguilla, Montserrat, Pitcairn, St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha, Australia, Canada, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, South Korea or the United States, for stays of max 90 days in a 180-day period. However, there have been many cases where those holding valid residency of GCC countries have been denied access without assigning any reason, especially if they are citizens of India and Pakistan. An agreement with Paraguay on mutual visa free visits for holders of diplomatic and service passports was signed in September 2016 and is yet to be ratified. An agreement with Serbia on mutual visa-free visits for holders of ordinary passports was signed in March 2018 and is yet to be ratified. Agreement on visa-free travel by ID cards was signed with Ukraine but it is not yet ratified. Holders of Taiwan passports are refused entry and transit. Topic: <laughs> E-visa Holders of passports of the following 66 countries and territories can obtain multiple entry e-visas online for a fee prior to arrival. <inaudible> entry to Abkhazia and South Ossetia Entering Abkhazia and South Ossetia considered by Georgia and a major part of the international community to be Russian-occupied territories through border crossing points other than located in Georgia's Zugdidi municipality and Gori municipality is an act punishable under Georgian law. However, entering South Ossetia from Georgian government-controlled territory is currently impossible. <laughs> Visitor statistics. Most visitors arriving to Georgia were from the following countries of nationality dynamic table including 2014. Topic: <inaudible> External links. Visa information for foreign citizens. Georgia visit planning calculator. Citizens and stateless persons permanently residing in the countries that may enter Georgia without a visa for short-term visit not exceeding 90 calendar days in any 180-day period. Official website of Georgia e-visa. See also Visa policy of South Ossetia 
Visa policy of Abkhazia Visa requirements for Georgian citizens <laughs>